All right, so for the self-titled track, Unoya, the solo section is kind of an oddball one. The whole song's in G, which is already weird for me to start with, but the solo section goes from G to C. So with that being said, I'll play the whole solo for you, then I'll break it down. All right, so here we go. So what's going on here, like I say, it swaps from the key of G to C. And on the record, there's a rhythm part and I play a two part harmony, but the way I do it live, I try to play half the riff and then come in with just the one part to try to mix things up live. So with that being said, I'm gonna show you that. like the little uh it's a two-part harmony i call it the pre-solo and um it comes in just like this <laughs> After that goes into the actual guitar solo which a lot of it's around the pentatonic which is right around here right under the 12th fret and it starts out with a bend and all that is like I say it starts out with the bend which pretty much it you just slide up to that note that's what you'd normally been to kind of like an all that remains kind of thing but uh anyway so that little lick all together now the next part i think of jakey e. lee and up to speed it gets kind of tricky to play all it does after that is then it goes up to let's see up here I do a bend all that is, is Then there's a really, really quick lick right here. And all it is is like a... a it's just like you kind of like start on the uh, B string and go up to the E. And it like descends and goes back down and you come down with a scale. So all together, that would be the solo, but up to speed, once again, it would sound like this. the Unora solo. Out of all of them, all seven songs on the Unora EP, this is probably the most trickiest one because it's in one of those oddball 
keys where you use some of your not so average frets. So if you have any questions or comments, let me know. And I hope you enjoyed it. And there's more on its way.